Hey guys, I'm Emily Broman. I'm an incoming freshman. I'm from White Lake, Michigan. It's about an hour and 45 minutes away from Adrian, so it's not too far. I plan on majoring in nursing. I have an older brother. He just graduated from Michigan State this year, so it's kind of a big year. We have a high school graduate, me, and a college graduate, my brother. Um, I have one dog. He's a nine pound Shih Tzu Yorkie Poodle mix. He is a handful, but we love him. <laughs> Um, I started playing soccer when I was about three years old. It was just on a rec team. My dad coached it, my friends played on it. But at the time I did dance and softball too. So I was doing three sports and it was a lot, but it definitely shaped me to be the person who I am today. Um, I ended up joining a travel team when I was seven or eight, I think, um, and ended up giving up softball mainly just because I wasn't that good at softball um kind of did it because my friends did it um my hand-eye coordination was not the best so I just kind of gave up on that so I did dance and um soccer then um middle school came along and the travel team started to get better um and it was Waterford Warriors so it was a smaller club we weren't that known but once we started to get better um and get up in the state rankings uh, we became more known and pe more girls started to try out and that's when I realized that I needed to just focus on soccer so I ended up quitting dance um, and that was a big turning point in my life because my mom had always wanted me to do dance and um, from there on I knew that she was going to support me with whatever decision that I made and her just understanding my decision and why I made it has definitely helped me under like be the person I am today. And my mom and my dad have always been my biggest supporters in whatever decision I make. So that was um, a big turning point in my life. But then I entered middle school and I found out that I really loved running. So I was on the cross country team all through middle school and all through high school. And I'm kind of one of those girls that you look at and you're like, wait, you like running? But I don't know, it's just like, it's like therapy almost. Um, it definitely helped me with endurance, obviously, being able to make runs during soccer games and being able to recover faster. But it also helped me understand like the challenges of like the mental aspect of the game because cross country is mainly 90% mental and like 10% physical. And it's it gets to the point where you need to tell yourself that you can do it and that you can push through it and then you will be able to succeed but if you cannot get past that you won't be able to succeed in um whatever sport career anything that you're doing in your life so that definitely helped me become the person that I am today um I'll always love running for the rest of my life I think I'll be one of the crazy moms that will run around the neighborhood um but I realized that I really wanted to play soccer in college when I hit high school, I think, because that's when I kind of realized I'm almost to college. Um, but my freshman year of high school, the walls kind of caved in on the soccer aspect because my coach um, of like six years said that he was going to retire. And I just kind of felt lost. I didn't really know where, like what other club to go too because I hadn't really thought about that so me and my friends a couple of us ended up going to United and honestly it was not the best decision for me I kind of regret doing that uh I wish I went to Michigan Jags that year I had the opportunity to but I just followed my friends and that taught me that like I need to follow my own dreams and I can't let other people um persuade me into what my decision making is so I just kind of pushed through that year. That year was rough. I had um, many injuries. I was in and out of a walking boot. It just was not a good year to sit on the bench and just watch my teammates um, lose and not being able to help them. So the following year, my junior year, I ended up going to Jags, tried out. I made the white team at Jags. Um, I was... I ended up becoming a starter like right off the bat, which was really fun and um, it pushed me because I was the new girl on the team and I just wanted everyone to like accept me and so I tried my best and we ended up making it to the quarterfinals of State Cup that year, which was really exciting. 
Um, that was also the year that Scooter recognized me. We were at an Indiana tournament. Um, he contacted me after that. Um, I went for my visit in December or January, and I really liked the school. It's smaller than my high school, so that was one of the things that was kind of holding me back from making the decision, just because coming from a bigger school to a smaller college, I wasn't sure how it was going to affect me. Um, another thing was all my friends were going to Michigan State, and I kind of felt left out, but I came to the point in my life where I matured, and I was like, I need to make um, decisions on my own. I can't let other people affect what I do later on in my life because this is a big point in your life and like what you need to do. So I ended up making the decision to go to Siena Heights. And honestly, I think it's one of the best decisions that I've made because now I can start fresh, meet new people, not be stuck in like the high school drama and like the cliques and everything. Um, I'm just excited to start like a new chapter in my life. Um, one thing is I'm really shy when I first meet new people. Um, so I won't, I won't really open up until I really get to know you. So that's one thing that probably will hold me back from meeting people, but hopefully you guys will be able to open up and help me open up, I guess. Um, I'm just excited to like continue soccer into college because it's been a big part of my life and I'm just happy to have the opportunity to play soccer. And I'm excited to play soccer with all of you guys and meet all of you.